Tomahawk TV News, Montague County's only newscast, coming at you from Nocona High School. Welcome back to Tomahawk TV News, Montag County. This is anchor and senior Morgan Dyer hosting your newscast. First up, Kieran Gibbs is starting the show with his review of the new movie, Deadpool. Welcome to the Movie Dumpster, the segment in Tomahawk TV News where I, Kieran Gibbs, tell you what's worth seeing and what's not. Colossus. Besides, nobody's getting hurt. That guy was up there before we got here. Knock, knock. This week I'll be examining one of the most anticipated superhero films of all time, Deadpool. Now Deadpool is rated R, so parental discretion is advised. Deadpool was written by Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick and directed by Tim Miller. It stars Ryan Reynolds as Wade Wilson, a former special ops soldier turned mercenary who suddenly learns he has cancer. In an effort to cure his cancer, he volunteers to undergo experiments to gain superpowers. Though this does succeed, it leaves Wilson horribly scarred. Wade adopts the identity Deadpool and attempts to find the person who kidnapped his girlfriend Vanessa, portrayed by Morena Baccarin. Deadpool is not just the funniest superhero movie ever made, but possibly one of the funniest movies ever made. Its meta style and consistent fourth wall breaking makes for a great time at the movies and a great time period. I'm anxious to see what the sequel has to offer if they make one. I give Deadpool five tomahawks out of five. This has been Karen Gibbs, and thank you for watching. Thank you, Karen. Up next is the video game review by Austin Waters and Dylan Parker. Hey there, it's Austin. Welcome to this week's edition of Tomahawk Gaming News. This week we will be going over Star Wars Battlefront. This game is rated T-14s. It is a multiplayer based game where you will be battling other players. You will either be the Rebels or the Empire. You will fight the other team. In Star Wars Battlefront you will either play as a Rebel Soldier or a Stormtrooper. For most of the time you can get different vehicles and different weapons. You will fly X-Wings, drive walkers and try to eliminate the other team or capture objectives. There are also special power-ups that allow you to turn into heroes like Luke Skywalker, Boba Fett, and Darth Vader, and use their ultimate power to aid your team. There are many modes for gameplay like Heroes vs. Villains where you have three heroes vs. three villains, and the team with the hero or villain left at the end wins. There are Supremacy where you control many objectives and try to get so many points. There are vehicles and power-ups on the map to help you, and there are many more. It, ha it has many fun game modes to that give you many hours of gameplay. Now for gaming news. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is being offered for $15 on Steam for a limited time only. Xbox One February update will include many new features like seeing who is in a party before you join it. Leaderboards against friends, settings features, joinable Twitch, broadcasts, and much more. That is it for this week. Check back next week for everything to do with gaming. Thank you guys for the segment. Now, Zach Boyd and Connor Barrett are back again answering questions and just ask Zach. Hey guys, and welcome back to yet another week of Just Ask Zach. I'm your host, Zach Boyd, and we finally got someone decent behind the camera as Braden Skinner. What, what? What, what? Let's get this show on the road. Our first question comes from at 11 asked, how much do you bench? I mean, I know I bench more than you, Riley. What, you bench like, what, 35s? Pfft, weak sauce. Our next question comes from at CadeBreeze33 asks, what's your favorite series? Dude, the freaking World Series, baseball fanatic, what, what? No, nah. if I really have to think about it, probably like the Supernatural series, because, I mean. Dumb. Oh yeah, Brayden? Well, what's your favorite series? Uh, your mom, that's what. Okay, whatever. That wasn't even funny. Gosh, freaking Connor, I mean Brayden. Our next question comes from at JLo asked, what's the circumference of the sun? Miss O, when did you start sending in questions on Twitter? What the heck? That wasn't Miss O, no, that was me. That what? was really rude of you. What the heck? I, that was, okay. <laughs> Alrighty. 
Our next question comes from at Donovan7 asks, what kind of questions should I be asking? Dumb question. I mean, that about sums it up right there. Yeah, probably. I just, I'm just here to make myself look like a goon. All you right. do a good job at it. Our last question comes in from at Little Rico asks, do you like to fiesta? Is that like eating at Trace or something? Hey, that's where Riley works. Oh, that explains why he's so weak. <laughs> Duh. Weak sauce. No, stop recording. Oh. All right, that's it for this week's segment of Just Ask Sack. Ladies, go follow Braden Skinner at Braden Skinner on Twitter and send in more questions at, at Just Ask Sack on Twitter. And I will see you next week, ladies and gentlemen. Follow Zach Boyd on Twitter at Steve Irwin and at Jack Black. Yes. Remember, if you want your questions answered, submit them to Just Ask Zach on Twitter and Instagram. The Ag Math classes at NHS have a very interesting project. Sabrina Matthews has gone out to find more about it. Hi, this is Sabrina Matthews with Tomahawk TV News. I'm here today with Gavin Roberts, who is in Miss Snap's Ag Math class. This week, they were messing with deer antlers. What were you guys doing? See, we got string, and we put it around the deer antlers, and then we put it up against the yardstick to measure it so we could score how big the rack actually was. What is scoring, and what do you do with it? Well, scoring, you can sit there and be in a competition to see who has the biggest buck, and you can actually win trophies and sometimes money. Okay. And did you have fun doing this project? Yes, I did. Thank you. This has been Sabrina Matthews with Tomahawk TV News, coming at you from Nakona High. Thank you for the interesting story, Sabrina. With spring quickly approaching, weather girl Macy Melton is here to give you this week's forecast. Hello and welcome to this week's Tomahawk weather. I'm Macy with your report. This week will be mostly cloudy and sunny with some rain towards the end of the week. Temperatures will continue to be warm reaching the upper 60s and lower 70s. If it's not obvious yet, spring is coming early this year. Usually during this time of the year, the normal jet stream takes a southward plunge creating cold weather, but this year the stream has flattened out which means warmer weather, but not for long. There is already another winter storm headed towards the east, which could possibly bring snow. This has been your weekly Tomahawk weather. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you, Macy. During Mardi Gras weekend, we had students competing at the choir and piano solo and ensemble competition in Sanger. These students put in lots of time and effort to memorize and work on their songs before performing in front of judges. Everyone competing in the choir contest received an excellent rating from the judges, and the two girls, Macy Melton and Martha Ryan, playing piano, received a superior rating from their judges and will be competing at the state competition in May. Congratulations to everyone on a job well done. Hello, Nakona High School. I'm Cole Jackson. Welcome to this week's edition of Tomahawk Sports. In local sports news this week, the Indians earned a playoff spot, then went and beat Jacksboro in Jacksboro to force a playing game with Holiday to see who will be third place in district. The Lady Indians unfortunately lost their playing game, ending their season, but they all fought with a lot of heart and they should keep their heads up. So congratulations on a great season. Our softball teams and baseball teams have already started getting games and scrimmages in and are looking forward to have successful seasons. In national sports news, the NFL Hall of Fame game next year will be between the Packers and the Colts, who have former members going into the Hall. Basketball is back into full swing after an exciting all-star break. Spring training for baseball is also starting to begin slowly. That's it for this week in sports. Once again, I'm Cole Jackson, signing off for Tomahawk Sports. Welcome to this week's segment of MLG, Make It Look Gucci. Here's our first category, Gucci. First up on our list is Kylie Jenner. She's perfection. Her clothes, accessories, her fake face, perfect. I don't think I have seen her wear a bad outfit. No, never. 
And of course on the Gucci list is Kourtney Kardashian and Kylie Jenner once again. Both are literally perfect. The pantsuit on Kourtney and Kylie's accessories, perfection. I agree. Next up is Chrissy Teigen and John Legend. Is she pregnant? Yeah, she is pregnant. We go over this like every week. Chrissy, darling, you rock your pregnancy clothes better than Kim K. Keep it up, girl. And now, our Gucci Guilty category. First up on our list is Iggy Azalea. I don't even have anything to say about this. Just Iggy, please help everyone and fire your stylist. Agree. Next up is sadly Fergie. Tell me, Fergie, where's the funeral? Now it's Christian Stewart. She looks like a confused hipster hippie. Agreed. <laughs> Wrapping up our Gucci Guilty category is once again Bella Hadid. Gigi must be very disappointed in you, Bella. Get shorter boots and a longer dress. You are a model, not a soldier. What are you doing? That's all until next week. And don't forget, dress classy, not trashy. To close the show, we would like to end with The Dale Show. Yeah, it's Dale. With The Dale Show. Oh, howdy, y'all. This here's Dale. Now I'm going to show y'all a little something about the Bob's Lawn Tractor here. I'm going to tune up for him. I want to give y'all a little demonstration of how you get on it, make it go vroom, vroom down the road real nice like. Now this here's a little bit of a junker. You can see you got the dang stuff holding it down. You got the ratchet straps all over the place. I mean, you got to do just about everything, but I'm going to teach you how you make them go fast right here. Now them dang manufacturers, they want you to think that these suckers need all that crap that they put on it. Let me show you something right here. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. That right there, you don't need that. You don't need that. Now you take that off right there, you get to that air filter like that, you get one of them. You just gotta spray some of that stuff up in there, just like that, get her purring real nice like. Okay, we don't need that no more. Hold on, let me get down here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, Bob's gonna, be, Bob's gonna be real happy with this right here, boys, I tell you what. I don't know if he deserves my help. After what he did, I don't know if I mentioned y'all, but Bob's a mailman. He took little Ann from me, and uh, you know, it hurt. But I told Bob, you know, I'll help him out here. But I don't know, man. I don't know if I should. I don't know if I should. That's gasoline. Now let me get some of this right here. Let me make sure she's got enough go-go fluid in her. Hold on, boys. Let me get it right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it right there. All right, let me pour a little bit of this in there. Tell you what, once I get this sucker rolling, you ain't gonna believe this is Bob Lawn Tractor. Hold on here, you gotta get all up in here. Get her in the hole. Yeah. Oh, I'm thirsty. Day one. All right. Now let me get back to what I was doing over here. Let me get my trusty screwdriver down here. Now you got all these wires in here. You got to get these wires and you got to just fiddle with them a little bit. They got that governor on it. You got that governor. So what you want to do is, if you can, get back there to them and just snip them. Because basically it's just stupid stuff like the brakes. And you know, stuff you don't need, lights, turning signals. Some lawn tractors have turning signals, believe it or not. Yeah! Ah! 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 Got it. It's here, it's here about where the, the manufacturers put this in your lawn tractor. It's basically to slow you down, you know, so you can't, your blade don't go as fast and your wheels don't turn as fast. It's here. That's what I think about that. You don't need none of that. Let me tell you something. You got to get these distributors and these pistons firing on all four cylinders. Because if you don't get them all firing right, then you're going to have yourself a lawn tractor like one of the maintenance crews got. And it's only going about two miles an hour. And me personally, I like going about 100. And you don't need that kind of stuff because that's just safety precautions. You want to go fast. So basically, you get down in here, you know, get back there to that battery. Do all the old twisting and nicks and crannies you can get. Okay. Now, that I've done that, I 
can teach you just about anything you want to know about one of these lawn tractors. You know, one of my one of my buddies, he started talking down to me because he's got one of them fancy jobs at, at the dang McDonald's, one of them high-end corporate jobs, you know. And I was like, you know what? So be it. You get to work in the air conditioning building and make big bucks. But I'll tell you what I get to do. I get to be beside a lawn tractor. I get to be in front of the lawn tractor. I get to be inside the lawn tractor. I get to be behind the lawn tractor. I get to be underneath the lawn tractor. And what do you get to be? Behind one counter. And I'll tell you what, you know, it's just stupid stuff like that. I chose this, all right? I chose this. And I'm pretty good at it. Let me tell you what, I can make this lawnmower go faster than any lawnmower you've ever seen in your life. Whoa! Yeah! 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 She'll be going zero to a hundred in like three minutes. Yeah, it's crazy. Now let me tell you something. Hold on, let me get my tools out of my way here. Whenever you straddle a lawn tractor after you just get done juicing her up, it's like no other feeling. You get on it and you just let her know. She's a purring kitten. She, sorry. She's a purring kitten and you're the steerer. You drive that sucker like it's your first date. Let me get my race gloves on. Whenever Dale turns up a lawnmower, sometimes there ain't no going back. Now watch and learn. <laughs> Woo! This is that baby bird! Anyways, I ain't got about all the tune-ups. You know, I don't know. Oh, son of a biscuit eater! Oh, I cut my dang finger! Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh. Howdy. This is your first aid with Dale. What you're going to do is you're going to take your rag and you're going to wrap it around your finger like that. Just like that. And you want to get it secure so your blood don't seep out of it. Then you're going to take your tape and you're going to get it on there just like that. And you're going to... Oh, shoot, dog. Shoot. Hold on. She gonna do it like that. Uh. Yeah, just like that right there. You gonna get your tape just like that. You gonna give her a wrap around. Just like that. Oh. By the way, it's just your base for it. Just like that, just your base. It basically, and you gonna take your dang bungee and go from right there just like that. And you gonna... It's kind of hard. I ain't got Luann with me here right now. Just like that. And like that one more time. And then you just go. Somewhere along the lines like that right there. And then just to make sure nothing happens to it when you go back to working on your long tractor, you're going to take this. Push your zip tie. Tell you what, you can fix just about anything with a zip tie, a little bit of duct tape, and a rag, and you're going to cinch her down like that. Just like right there. Ain't nothing happening to your finger now. You're all doctored up and ready to go. tuning in Monte County. Have a great week. We will see you back next week. Tomahawk TV News. Monte County's only newscast coming at you from Nocona High School.